Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Okay, let's uh, expand on our um, count program. Um, count ASM. This time we're going to um, make the program a little fancier. Since we have a, a nice delay loop, let's make a subroutine um, that has a delay in it and we'll do a call to that subroutine. And I'll do it all in assembler. All right. So let's go down to the bottom here. Control X sends me down. Okay. Let's uh, create a program, a um, subroutine called delay. And uh, delay will have our uh, decrement B, jump not zero, delay, decrement C, jump not zero, delay, and return. And up at the top here, we can get rid of some lines. Let's see, is there a delete line command? Delete character. Delete line is Control Y. Control Y. Control Y. Control Y. Uh, let's see, Control Y. Actually, we never needed that increment command there, did we? Get rid of that one. And. Control D, oops, Control S, Control G for delete. And we'll do a call delay. All right. So this would be a little nicer. Let's uh, try this program. Let's uh, assemble it. Let's take a look at it. Count dot uh, PRN. All right. Uh, so we have call to delay, which is going to be at zero one zero A. And at 010A, we have uh, our routine. And I do not see the return instruction. That's not good. Where did our return instruction go? Hmm. Well, that's why I took a look at it. Oh, uh, let's, let's look at the uh, ASM. Oh, returns there. Hmm. I don't know why it didn't show up in the PRN. So let's uh, uh, assemble it again, just in case. And then we'll uh, load it and run it. Yeah, works fine. Great. So that's a good example of uh, how to do a, uh, a subroutine call in, uh, in a 8080 assembler. All right, I was curious why that, uh, when we did a uh, type count, we didn't see a return at the very end. Um, and it may just be that the very last line didn't have an actual carriage return or something in it. You never know about these things back, back in the day. But the program seemed to work, which meant that, that the assembly must have gone correct. So what the assembly really creates is a hex file. Um, oops. Type hex, hex 
there we go. So a hex file, this is the Intel hex format, and um, it starts out with a start command, which is the colon and the next two, ne the next byte. So the one zero is kind of a start. And then it gives a 16-bit address, so 0100. That's where it wants to load things. And then it gives another byte, which is uh, kind of a, another internal format type thing. That I think it's always 0. Um, and then, then the program uh, shows up. So CD, 0A, 013. Um, and we can see... Uh, uh, we can see that if we look up at the code there, CD, 0A, 01, 3E, 2E. Um, so we can see that in the, in the Intel hex format. And, and then I think it, it loads something like um, uh, 16 uh, bytes, uh, so 10 zero hex. And at the very end, there's a byte at the very end of the string, which is a checksum. So the 51 in, the, in that top row is a checksum. So actually C2 is the last byte uh, of real data. Um, and you can see the second row, the very last byte is 18, which is the checksum. And the one before that is the C9. And C9 is the return. Uh, so it did, at least in the assembly, it did catch the, uh, the return instruction and put it into the hex file. Um, so that, that's why it worked. Um, I believe um, in the... Uh, PRN file. I think if we put a blank line at the end of the uh, uh, .asm file, then then everything would look fine. 